Hello, thank you for joining me again today. I've got a shoe review. I've had quite a few requests from people following my blog to do a shoe unboxing video or a review of some sort outside of my standard written review on the Sam Edelman Louis boot. My best friend was so obsessed she went and purchased a pair for herself. And I will say one thing about these shoes, they run large. They run, I would say, significantly large, maybe just a half size for most of you. I tried the fives on in the store and they fit me perfectly, but as always, I get nervous and think, well, they're gonna be too small, I'm gonna get blisters, whatever. Well, I bought the six because they didn't have a five and a half. So I was like, no big deal. Well, they've been loose. I wore some insoles with them. And then after a while of walking in them, they got so loose that like I flop around, like my foot jingles inside of the shoe. It is suede, so it obviously stretched out. Um, I wear five and a half typically, so I don't know. If I would suggest just sizing down to a half size smaller. My best friend got hers and she said the same thing that her standard size was much larger. She got a different color. She got the pink, the light pink version. Um, so I can definitely say that two people are saying the same thing. I'm certain it's universal that they run about a half size large. So I believe she sized down a half size or maybe she just threw some insoles in. I don't know what she decided to do, but I would consider going half size down. They may be a little snug at first, but they're going to stretch out tremendously. So this I thought was an actual wood heel. It is not. It's like plastic covered with like a wood look, clearly because every single pair of my heels have like been destroyed back here. I don't know how it happens. These aren't even high heels, so I've already ruined these. I've had them for, I don't know, almost a year now, but I've already ruined them, so way to go, Jess. Um, they have an easy... Okay, well, they have a side zip that I'm not gonna keep struggling. Okay, there we go. It has a side zip, not so easy apparently, to zip up and down easy in and out, slip action. Um, I have seen people actually just wear them unzipped. I don't know how stable they are as a shoe, especially since they're so large on my feet, if I would actually go with that. You can wear them with their tops folded down like so. That's how they come. I think that's actually how they're supposed to be worn. That is not how I wear mine. I wear my flaps up like that, but you can wear them as you wish. They're your shoes, your style. I'd say they have about a two inch heel, and we all know how much I suck at the whole heel height thing, but I don't have my internet open. So I'm gonna say two, two and a half inch heel happening here. Let's just say two and a half inch because my numbers are so skewed. There is no platform at the front. They're a really good height just for heel. I feel like it's a nice, relaxed, neutral position that your feet are in. Uh, again, it's suede. It's going to stretch. So if they are a little snug, do not fret. They will stretch and mold to your feet. They come in like five or six colors. I know this year they brought out a light pink, a gold, maybe a white. I think a white. Ivory, something like that. They had about three or four colors last year. So I think with each season, they're trying to bring out a color to just uh, diversify the product. They are super comfortable as you know, most of my Sam Edelman's, if I talk about them in detail, they are ridiculously comfortable. The only Sam Edelman shoe I've ever had any issue with was the Larissa for the fact that they are the hardest, most uncomfortable shoes that I own. So all the other shoes that he makes are just phenomenally comfortable, nicely padded. They're just made to be, they're made to be worn. They're good quality, comfortable shoes. Yes, I ruined the heel, so simply not a wood heel. Just. In FYI, I'm really irritated because I just found this right before I started the video. 
here's the bottom. There's some rivets here to hold the base in. They are pretty beat up, but I like them. And I really like the little scalloped edges here to add a feminine touch to the shoe. And anything with fringe in my book is pretty much a sale. Like you don't have to, it's not a hard sale. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it. It's just, it's just the nature of the beast. I love the fringe. I love things that are annoying that move and make sounds like my wrists. I just need something happening somewhere on my body. So I'm gonna put these on for you, walk around, show you what they look like on. Here we go. So here they are on my feet. I have them worn two different ways. I have them worn the way that I tend to wear them. I like them a little bit higher up. And the way that they came, that I believe they were actually meant to be worn, folded down. But again, it's preferential. It's your style. I just really like all the jiggling happening here. Here's a side view. Alternate side view. The back. Here it is again, Sam Edelman Louie. They retail at $159.95. They can be purchased at Nordstrom, Zappos, Bloomingdale, Soulstruck, pretty much anywhere that you can purchase a Sam Edelman booty. I even think Victoria's Secret is now carrying them, but they're only carrying the gold color, I think. I'm not even sure if it's a limited color or if it's being sold elsewhere. I haven't seen it anywhere other than Bloomingdale's when I was in there shopping the other day. But here they are. You should take a little look. See, they are similar to the Isabel Morant style dicker. They just have some added fringe and they're like an eighth of the cost. So woohoo. Um, these are much better than the Steve Madden version. They are incredibly distressed. They're not very attractive. They're not very comfortable. This is not a good shoe overall. If you're going for a pair, spend the extra, what, $40, $60. It'll be worth it. They'll last longer. They're just much better quality. So as always, you can take time, hit subscribe. You can go to my blog and follow me there at cupcakesringsandglitterythings.com. You can check me out on YouTube at glitterythings underscore or follow me on Instagram at glitterythings. Talk to you later.